Have you ever wondered which investing approach is right for you? In the world of finance, there's an ongoing debate between active and passive investing. In this video, we will dive into the pros and cons of each approach with one crucial factor often at the heart of the decision, time. Meet Anna and Mark. Both are investors seeking to grow their wealth, but they have different strategies when it comes to managing their investments. Anna is an active investor. She spends hours researching market trends, analyzing financial statements, and monitoring news updates. She enjoys the thrill of making investment decisions and actively manages her portfolio, seeking opportunities for high returns. On the other hand, Mark is a passive investor. He believes in the power of long-term market growth and prefers to take a hands-off approach. He invests in low-cost index funds, or ETFs, allowing his investments to grow steadily over time with the market. Both Anna and Mark have their reasons for choosing their respective investment styles, but when it comes down to it, time plays a crucial role. Let's explore the pros and cons of active and passive investing and how time factors into these strategies. The pros of active investing are greater control, flexibility, and learning opportunities. Greater control means that active investors have the ability to make decisions based on their own research and analysis, potentially maximizing returns. With flexibility, active investors can react quickly to market changes, adjusting their portfolio accordingly to potentially minimize losses or take advantage of emerging opportunities. And learning opportunity means that active investing is based on active learning, which allows investors to dive deep into financial markets, gaining valuable knowledge and expertise over time. The cons of active investing are time-consuming, emotional impact, and higher cost. Active investing demands significant time and effort for research, analysis, and monitoring. It requires staying informed about market developments and continuously evaluating investment options. The constant monitoring and decision-making involved in active investing can lead to emotional stress and biases. Emotional reactions may influence investment choices and hinder rational decision-making. Also, active investing often incurs higher transaction fees, management fees, and taxes due to the frequent buying and selling of securities. Now let's switch to Mark's approach and see the pros of passive investing. Time-saving, lower costs, and reduced stress. Passive investors can build a diversified portfolio and let it grow with minimal intervention. They focus on long-term investment strategies rather than actively managing individual securities. Also, passive investing typically involves lower fees and taxes compared to active investing since it relies on low-cost index funds or ETFs. And by avoiding constant monitoring and decision-making, passive investors may experience less stress and emotional turbulence associated with active trading. Still, there are some cons to using the passive investing strategy. Passive investors have less control over individual investment decisions. They rely on the overall market performance and the composition of their chosen index funds, or ETFs. Also, passive investors do not attempt to time the market by buying or selling based on short-term fluctuations, potentially missing out on some short-term gains. And last but not least, passive investing exposes investors to market fluctuations and volatility. They must be prepared for potential downturns and be patient during market downturns to benefit from long-term growth. As you can see, both active and passive investing have their own advantages and disadvantages. However, when it comes to time, the scales often tip in favor of passive investing. Time is a valuable asset, and for many investors, it's the deciding factor. Active investing demands a significant time commitment, which can be challenging for individuals with busy schedules or those who lack the necessary expertise. Passive investing, on the other hand, offers a more hands-off approach allowing investors to focus on other aspects of their lives while still participating in long-term market growth. In the end, the choice between active and passive investing depends on your goals, risk tolerance, and available time. Remember, there is no one-size-fits-all approach when it comes to investing. Whether you choose to be an active investor like Anna or a passive investor like Mark, always make informed decisions and consider the time you're willing to invest. Now it's time for you to evaluate your own investment strategy. If you found this video helpful in your investment decisions, 
Don't forget to like it and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care of your money, invest smart, live breezy.